Pay cuts, furloughs, layoffs all appear to be on the table right now as the state budget continues to spiral into the red. And today, Republicans in the Assembly presented their ideas on what to do about it. Our chief political correspondent, Mark Davis, is here live with the latest on the budget cutting dance underway at the Capitol. Mark? Yeah, it's a real dance. Hi, Darren. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. Here's something you don't hear very often. Lawmakers calling for a 10% cut in their own pay. But that's what Republicans at the state capitol say is part of the solution, plus across the board cuts, almost across the board, uh, to save money. It is human nature to want to keep everything you have. And I don't want to take things away from people, but we have a serious money problem here. Calling on state employee unions to concede things like increased co-pays on prescriptions and pension plans, Republican lawmakers laid out their ideas to cut spending in the current budget, but say they want to avoid layoffs. We sort of rejected was the layoff issue. Once again, we said if you take two days without pay, uh, that would take care of a layoff issue. The governor, who was touting the ahead of schedule I-84 Waterbury project today, said he appreciated the Republican input, but the two days without pay idea just won't work. I saw their furlough proposal. Uh, it has uh, some merit, uh, but uh, uh, so far, uh, Labor's not, uh, hasn't indicated that they're all interested in opening up those contracts to allow that to happen. The governor says the number of state employee layoffs will depend on how many state employees take retirement by April 1st. Most of those positions will not be refilled. After that, a decision on layoffs will be made and that layoffs will have to be made before June 9th. Both Republicans and Democrats want the governor to release $140 million in payments to the state hospitals that was part of an agreement to reimburse the cost of caring for poor residents. Less money has come in, so in essence, I guess, we're reneging on every deal, right? Because we have less money to spend. He also indicated today that the hospital payments are going to be held hostage until lawmakers from both sides agree on $220 million in cuts. Before we release money uh, to uh, outside organizations, give me your $220 million worth of cuts. It's also being reported that Democrats at the state capitol are looking at the possibility of cutting aid to the cities and towns, which would be a real pie in the face because last year's budget promised to give some money back to the cities so that they could cut car taxes starting this July. Republicans say today they don't see any way the state can keep that promise. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.